this video, we are going to explain you the steps how to upgrade the ONT software or the ONT firmware remotely using the Tejas ONT. We are just considering below network structure. We have a PC, a Windows PC or a Linux server and uh, having the FTP tools. And then we have the OLT. So we connect to the DCN port or the Ethernet port of the OLT. And the OLT pawn is further connected to the ONT. For this purpose of demo, we are nominating this GPON serial number and this is the ONT ID connected on pawn port number 2 and ONT ID 8. So the step number one will be transferring the file from PC to the OLT using the FTP tools. Push the file from here to here. And in step number two, using the OLT OMCI through automated mechanism, we will push the file, we will transfer the file from the ONT to the ONT. And the ONT takes an automatic reboot and the software is upgraded. So let's straight away start. Uh, so the first thing is we'll have to configure the FTP tools. Before that, let us verify the status of the ONT. So we open the ONT, then log into the browser. On the left side, we have the GPON folder. Then we go to the maintenance. Under maintenance, we have the manage ONT table. Here, ONT1128. So we can see here that the ONT is activated. But what is the current software version? So we come here on top and click on the status list. So this is the ONT1128. So we can see the software version, current version is 50 underscore 2. So the name of the ONT is Stages Demo. Currently, the, this is the version. So what is the version I want to go to? So this is my folder. So we can see here. In this folder, I have stored the files. So that is the folder ONT software upgrade. I kept it on my desktop. And in this folder, we can see the file 2.3.4.62. So this is the new software version. So I want to upgrade to this software version. So this software file, it can be obtained by contacting uh, Tejas Support Center. We will share you the email address. So we will upgrade to this file. So this file we need to transfer to the OLT. So we need to do this step. We use a FTP tool called uh, Mobile Xterm, and uh, using this tool, we configure the FTP server provided here. This is the FTP server. So this is the settings. We choose the path in which we have kept the ONT firmware file, and then we have a login name. We can choose any name we want and then we choose a password and then here we start the server. Before we start the server, let us find out what is the IP address of the PC. This is the PC on which we are logged in. So let's find out the IP. So the IP of the PC is 192.168.1.251. So let's see we are able to ping this IP address from the OLT. Go to the OLT and here under maintenance and in under diagnostics we have something called DCN monitor and system and then ping. From the OLT let us see if we are able to ping to the laptop. We are able to ping to the laptop successfully. If you are not able to ping, ensure that you disable your antivirus or your firewall on the laptop. Now we are able to have a successful communication between OLT and ONT and also between the PC and the OLT. We go back to the FTP server and we start the FTP server. So this is the start button, the triangle, FTP server is started. Now I go to my OLT and here I have the folder GPON. Under GPON I have maintenance. So we have the option here, software download to OLT. So here I'll give the username. The username is the username which I have typed in the FTP server. And the password and then the IP address. This is the IP address of the PC. And next, the path. Here it's a home directory dot forward slash. And this is the file name. What is the file name which I want to transfer? You right click 
and the name and the copy including the extension finally note that i have to give the file name extension also and if you are not able to see the file name extension you have to go here to the folder settings and you have to enable this tick mark file name extensions so now i come back to the olt i have given the username password and then here the ip address so once again this is the ftp string this is the username and password and this is the ip address of my pc go back and then click here on the download once i trigger this i get some security prompts i click on yes this file will be slowly transferred to the olt and i get the message successfully download to the olt card could i verify whether it's transferred successfully so i have here logs so you can see here a transaction taken place now go back to here upgrade oints so next folder is upgrade oint here we can see the software file which i want to uh, push to the oint is shown here 2.3.4.62 and my oint model this is the the oint model which i want to upgrade is actually the 12w this is the model i want to upgrade and i want to upgrade to the tejas demo oint so this is 1128 so just to clarify the the target oint which i wanted to upgrade is this 1128 and the model is 12w so that's what i have chosen here now here there are button called commit and activate and commit we recommend using activate and commit this button ensures that the file is transferred and also the ont auto reboots and upgrades the software if i use only commit it means the file is pushed to the ont but the ont will not upgrade and unless we give a manual reboot so we click on activate and commit download in progress the software file is getting downloaded to the ont we are currently in this step step number 2 we are pushing the file from ont to ont so meanwhile have a track of the status of the ont you can see here it is currently showing activated once the file is transferred it will deactivate and then going to reboot I want to know what is the status of my upgrade click here see check ont status upgrade click on this folder then i choose the ont model and which is my ont here this one 1128 so fine ONT ID. So get the upgrade status. So we can see currently the file is transferred. So let's wait for a minute or two, and we rejoin again. Again, when you check the ONT upgrade status for one one two eight, we can see that the activate in progress message has come. We can see the status of the ONT. so currently 1128 this is the ont is currently is deactivated Let's wait for the upgradation uh, to take place and the ont will come up let's refresh the status here now we see here that so we can see here that the system is up now let's verify whether the software version is updated refresh this page then click on this status list tab we go to ont and then we can see here that the software version 2.3.4.62 this is a new software version which we want and we can conclude that the software upgradation is complete we we'll come back here we can also fetch the so we can see here software download complete which means that the ont is successfully upgraded to the latest software in this video i explained you the method how to upgrade the ont firmware or software from the olt layer